right now at five. A Super Bowl celebration cut short in Kansas City after more than a dozen people were struck by gunfire. Everybody started jumping the um, rails and pushing everybody over. First responders racing to treat victims. We didn't know what was happening. As officers on the ground evacuate people as fast as possible. This day and age when people run, you run. We have the latest from the shooting at the Kansas City Super Bowl parade. Denver 7 News at 5 starts right now. And we begin with that breaking news out of Kansas City, Missouri, a deadly shooting marring the Super Bowl parade this afternoon. Kansas City police provided an update saying one person is dead and the number of people hurt rose to 22. We're also learning one hospital is treating 11 children, many of them gunshot victims. The gunshots captured on video. Kansas City police say three people have been detained. Officers work to try to evacuate people out of the parking garage area at Union Station as fast as possible, allowing for first responders to get in to treat those victims. One mother and daughter explained what happened. And we were headed back to the direction where the Uber had dropped us off when all of a sudden people started crushing forward. Everybody started running. There was screaming. We didn't know what was happening, but this day and age when people run, you run. Denver 7 Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski joining us now. Reactions pouring in from eyewitnesses to the shooting, Tony, including one of our own employees. Well, that's right, Mike and Jason. Good evening. He's a Chiefs fan. He's been a Chiefs fan for a long time, and he flew from Denver to Missouri to make memories. Bottom line, it was not what he expected, and we talked to him about how he saw and what he heard. We were picking up our backpacks and whatnot to leave, and as we did so, uh, we heard what I thought was fireworks. He's a lifelong Chiefs fan and Denver 7's operations manager. Rory Schmalsreed was just 30 yards from where the shots were fired. I was pretty calm and looked over, and people were running for their lives and spreading, kind of uh, freaking out a little bit. My nephew looked at my brother and I and said, Aren't we going to get out of here? Moments later, this is what he saw and what he heard. Sirens, emergency crews, and within minutes, shooting victims loaded into ambulances. A shocking ending to a day meant for celebration. Once we realized it wasn't fireworks, um, it was kind of like, I can't believe I had such a slow reaction to it. But on the other hand, uh, it never did feel like we were in danger. Realizing the facts now, do you consider yourself a little lucky? Yeah, I, I would consider us lucky because, you know, anytime gunshots go off, anybody that's in the direction of it's in danger. And we were there, we just didn't realize it. So looking back, yeah, we were lucky. Lucky indeed. Imagine that moment when he realized it wasn't fireworks, it was gunshots. Rory at the airport now heading back to Denver within the hour. We are all happy. He was one of the lucky ones and you heard and you saw, I mean, the video, the audio when the gunshots went off and now that number up to 22, a crazy ending to that parade. Absolutely. We're thinking of Rory and we're thinking of everybody impacted by this shooting. Thank you, Tony. And of course, we're going to be staying on top of this, bringing you more details as we learn them. We will have those updates on air as well as on our website, denver7.com.